Let's see. Headmistress, if it isn't inappropriate, I have a little gift, seeing as your personal supply ran out a while back. Ah, the hounds shall lap this stuff right up, I think. I shall safeguard it for them as a treat. Your silver wheel. I can have this? Fine work there. Hey, Odysseus. Got you something here I wanted you to have. For always keeping an eye out. Goddess, your presence alone is all I could ask. Though, if you're in a giving mood, then perhaps you'll accept a small gift from me in turn? Your trusty knuckle bones. Thank you. Commander, though it falls to us to keep the old traditions alive, may you partake of this nectar, unburdened by the weight of its significance. I'm most appreciative of both the offering and of the sentiment, and I summarily shall do my part. Behold, the luckiest of my possessions is in your possession now. You honor me, Commander. <laughs> Wanted you to have this, Dora. To the best hunter in all the crossroads. See, I knew you were gonna pull this gift custom thing on me sooner or later, so I have come prepared. Catch. For me? Thank you, Dora. Yeah? Nemesis, maybe we could start again. Here, I got you something. Don't need your charity, princess, or temptations while I'm on duty or off. You're doing this because you... Thank you, Nem. Lord Moros, as our honored guest, um, we wanted you to have this, to make your stay a bit more comfortable. The Nectar of the Gods. Thank you, princess. I've... Not received an offering before. Though I do like to come prepared. So here, from me to you. How thoughtful. I accept. Look, I do want you to feel welcome here and safe. It's not just something that we say. All of us have lost something here. May this gift of nectar show my words are true. Wow, made with real golden apples. Thanks, babe. You're the only one who's made a real effort to bring me into the fold. Say, why don't you take this? It isn't much, but I've been holding on to it in case I found a friend. Oh, this really isn't necessary, but, um, thanks. Lord Charon. Would you indulge me for a moment, boatman? If would... Wait, are you certain there's no charge for this? I'm glad you're here, Hermes, and it's an honor to finally be working together. To our swift victory. It's been a minute since I got an offering. Cheers, Em, although you needn't have. But here, I've just a thing for you. Nothing like a quick exchange of gifts. Hail, sister. Appreciate the backup. It's been a pleasure to have worked more closely with you, Sister Artemis. This is hardly worth the gift of impeccable precision, though I wanted you to have it. Doing the old traditions now, are we? Well, sure, then I accept your offering, Sister Melenoe, and I've an offering for you in kind. Truly, you're the best. Oh. 
Selene, I now send to you the nectar of the gods, that it may warm your passage across the sky. <laughs> Little star, you offer this to me. The connection that we share as Silver Sisters is already more than I can ask. Now be that as it may, I have something for you. You honor me, sister. To mighty Uncle Zeus, vanquisher of titans, your strength has saved our family before. You're most kind to now share some of it with me. It's hardly seemed the time to make me offerings. All the more reason I appreciate the gesture, niece. And per the custom of our family, I've prepared something for you in turn. You are most generous, Lord Uncle. Queen Hera, out of all the matters you could be attending to, you've chosen to aid me. I am honored, and would honor you in kind. Is there a wedding day that I should know about, or are you merely being generous with me? In any case, when I'm offered to, there's always a catch, so here. You truly needn't have, Your Majesty. I heard so much about you, Uncle. But you're not just very strong. You're generous as well. I am grateful, and would give you this. Oh, little niece, how thoughtful, but deeply unnecessary. Yet now I'm feeling generous, so here. This one's for you. Well, this is quite a catch. To think the Goddess of Seasons herself is my grandmother. I am honored to have made your acquaintance. I see the Witch of the Crossroads taught you not just strength, but grace. I hear... A gift from grandmother. Cousin Apollo, I am grateful for all your warmth, benevolence, and aid. Please, accept this gift. An offering for me? What a delightful surprise. And I haven't had a lot of those of late. Know what? I have something for you too. Thank you for this, cousin. Great Aphrodite. You must get more offerings than all the other gods and goddesses combined. Though this one comes from me. Why, this is wonderful! And also quite impressive, you already know our ways. I must return the gesture, so please, take this. I insist. I can't say no to such a lovely gift. Lord Hephaestus, your services must be in very high demand. I'm grateful, and doubtless so are the nocturnal arms. I don't work for tips. Though ours ain't an ordinary arrangement, and ain't often. I'm in your debt for this, Hephaestus, sir. <laughs> Dear Goddess Hestia, I hope you will accept this offering. It's a pleasure to have met someone with your warmth, wisdom, and strength. you making me offerings such hospitality and while i throw most customs to the flames the old exchange of gifts is one that i don't mind so here something from me something from auntie hestia call it even Great son of Zeus, I offer you this gift of nectar, that it may quench your thirst as you labor for the gods. They must be grateful for your might. <laughs> Saves me having to find another bottle for when next I have to prove my fealty. Here, 
something for your trouble. No trouble at all, thank you. Lady Medea. I almost pity our enemies, knowing you shall make them rue each night they dare oppose us, Lady Medea. Please, I wanted you to have this. The Nectar of the Gods. Why, this shall be most useful to my work, for the strongest curses come from honeyed words. Here, let me make this worth your while. From one sorceress to another. Thank you. Madam Cersei, I'm grateful that we had a chance to meet again after all this time. Your kindness to me always meant a lot, and I wanted to give you this small token in return. Nectar! Oh, thank you, little miss. I've made attempts to brew my own, but never get it right. So why don't you take this in kind? Think of it as a little island souvenir. It's beautiful and quite adorable. Thank you. Arachne. Huh. Each time I pass through Erebus, it's comforting to know I may run into you along the way. Here's some... Oh, why this is very sweet. It should attract a host of flies, I think. So thank you very, very much. Arachne, this is beautiful. Excuse me. As you've made no attempt to snap my head from my shoulders, unlike many other things lurking about, I'm compelled to give you this. Just as a casual acquaintance, to be clear. You give me such tokens of affection, full knowing I've already got a lot of them and, more importantly, am spoken for. Fine. Here's something to remember me by. How could I ever forget you, Narcissus? Even in a place of sorrow such as this, there's beauty, gentleness. I know not how to ease your burden yet, though perhaps this will help. Perhaps this will help. This will help. This will help. You're giving this to me. It's an honor. An honor. An honor. An honor. You can fly wherever you want now, but I'm glad you didn't go so far I couldn't catch up. Here, in light of your godlike wings, a little gift. Oh, come on. Just because I've been flying around near Olympus doesn't mean I get to feast like I'm from there. But maybe with your permission, eh? You know what? I've got something for you too. Is this one of your inventions? Amazing. Thank you. I'm ready. <laughs> if you'll permit me, almighty chaos, I wish you to have this gift of nectar in accordance with my family's custom among relatives and friends. None of this would have been possible if not for you. I shall grant you this wish and the freedom to bestow upon me further gifts as you see fit, for I have familiarity with this custom of yours and am prepared to reciprocate. Whatever this is, it's remarkable, truly. 